What's up, everybody? Lanzer here. I'm testing out the new base building stuff that just came out. As I mentioned in many of my previous videos, I am a Vanguard and construction main. So with the new fortification out, I'm going to give it a test drive and see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and hit redeploy and start doing it. I might just cut through some of the in-between parts. So if that happens, you know, just to make the video shorter. Let's start out here at Life Biochemical. Put down a support vehicle discount. And yeah, let's choose the Antonator with other vehicle. Okay, so there is a there's an active mission right away that you can do and it gives you a tree stand so I haven't I played a little bit of the play test but I haven't quite uh, done it in depth until now just too much going on in life so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I didn't even read all the patch notes except that that dry run with uh, zealous on his reaction of base builders so we're gonna see what that's all about I'm using howler right now so I have to be cognizant of the the overheating but all I need to do is just switch to my top mount and then I keep on doing it. I really like now that I can see how much uh, the deposit and the cordium it's a little bit more it's bigger and it's a lot easier now to see how much I have versus how much the deposit is so okay it's flashing red and it did a pretty quick deconstruct so that's new uh, the deconstruct happened a lot faster this time around rather than it taking about a good 15 seconds and there's an invisible collision there that you can run into and you know flip your ant all right cool so let's just go ahead and build something if possible yeah i'm just going to go ahead and build here i'm not even going to worry about topping up so let's just well hold on what's the next one deploy an ant okay so the next one is deploy. All right. Execute your vehicle and interact with the terminal at the rear of the ant. Use the terminal to purchase a cordium silo with the cordium. Okay. Now, I don't really know how this is going to work out because I bought the bundle. So, oh, the buttons are bigger. I definitely like that. I'm way... I'm into that big time. Uh, the only thing is, if you didn't know that you could accidentally buy things with certs when you already unlock them uh so it was well it was just a one click thing so i'll just clip the welding device for free i really really like that they made the buttons bigger big fan of that and looks like there's a a favorite button okay i'm a big fan of that too so let's go ahead and pull that and okay I like the arrows. It's much slower now. Can I make it go faster? Oh, well, now it's super slow. Okay, so I kind of like that it's slower. It'll help me out in some cases, but in other cases it won't because in base building, you have to put stuff down fast, and it's not always obvious where the, where the green would be when you start building up your base. So when you don't have a lot of time, you just kind of spin it around really fast until you find a green Let's see if I can do it here let me show you what I mean so it's not here but I bet you if I turn it a little bit it'll eventually turn green no nope. colliding with existing objects this is what I'm talking about if it were spinning around really fast I would see that green a lot sooner so let's just go ahead and put it I do like that we have arrows now the arrows tell me you know, what it needs to be above and then what it needs to be below. So the red arrows means it needs to go down. But if you can't see the red, then you definitely need to go up. And if you see the blue, then you need to go down, it looks like. Yeah. So as long as I have all the blues covered, then that's cool. I like that. So if I go down and I need to keep it closer to the ground, then I can, I can do that. So let's just go ahead and put it right there. 
Primary reservoir for collecting corium. Act as a hub of your construction base. It will consume corium to power your construction objects. Yes. So now I need to deposit corium into the silo. The build animation looks different now. Looks cool. So let's go ahead and drop my corium into it. And let's see if they fixed it to where I can now do it from the top. I cannot still. Okay, so only the main gun. Purchase a rampart wall. Okay. Now, one thing I think I did see was that the passive cordium is no longer a thing. Passive cordium drain. So, let's take a look. It was at 10,000. Okay, 10,000 still. Let's put some modules down and see if the decay rate is gone. And actually, let's just burn 50 and see if it will let me purchase it one click. It will. Okay. Well, good and bad there. When you're clicking around really fast, it's a bit too easy to purchase things with certs. I, I would rather have the, the, the two-step process for that. So this is new. Let's take a look at it. Lots of points to cover. So the bunker is still just as big, but it looks way different now. I do like the arrows. Uh, the blues arrows are a little bit hard to see, but I can basically see what's going on here. Let's put it all the way up and get it in its full glory. Right there. Okay. Wants me to build, purchase a rampart wall. Okay, so let's get a rampart. And here we go. And we'll just put it right there. Purchase a Xyphos, an AI turret. Those are always good. Okay, so am I covering all the blue? Okay, cool. Purchase a repair module. Next. Well, you can purchase it with Daybreak Cash, I bet. I'm going to wait for the bundle. So the next thing needs to be a... Oh, these are all way different now. Lots of new stuff. What is it? Repair module? Where's my repair module? There you go. Okay, so I'm now holding not what I thought. Okay, I don't remember this one. So what do you... Where do I put it? Oh. Huh. There's little slots. Is there one here too? What? Wait a minute. All right, so put a place one on the rampart wall. Oh, I bet you it's right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Hold F. Huh. Can I take it off? Okay. All right, let's go back and get the welding device. I wonder. Purchase and place a bunker. Gary did that. Let's, can I take this off? I wonder, can this be damaged? I don't know. Let's see if I can take this off, though. Oh, took the whole thing with it. So you can't take a module off once you put it down. Got it. Okay, so that's much easier to deconstruct now than it was before. Let's see if this one... I'm just going to aim at the ground. Oh, it does it automatically. Good. That was a big pain to deconstruct stuff. But now it looks like it just kind of... If you're pointing at a device, it'll auto-target. It will auto-target what's the closest deconstruct thing, I guess. All right, let's put down a bunker two of them now. Interesting. So let's do that. 
To make your bunker extra special, let's install an equipment terminal module. Bunkers come with two something. Oh, there it is. Bunkers, bunkers come with two module stands to reinforce the building. So, if my math is right, we have way more modules than we do <laughs> module placement or module slots, which is fascinating. So, it's no longer an AOE thing. Install module here. So, what does install module here on the Cordium silo? Hackable provides a structure with an unhackable equipment terminal. Can I put it here? <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. And I like the aesthetics. That is cool. That is very cool. What else do we have? Prevent other modules from being overloaded until this module has been disabled? Okay. I guess disabled means you can walk up to it and hack it like you or overload it with the infantry uh, infill. Increase structure's maximum health by 8,000. Nice. Increase maximum cording held by 10,000. Also great. Creates a two-way projectile shield around the structure. Two-way? Nah. What is the what is even the point then of having a projectile shield if it's two-way? Isn't that just kind of like having nothing at all? I don't get that. Dramatically reduces the turret's heat accumulation while firing. Increases its maximum up by 2,000. Man, I'm a big fan of that one. Repairs a structure by 2% of its max health per second. Increase its max. There's a lot of health pool increases. Oop. Crap. Oh, well. See what I mean? I didn't even mean to click that, and it, it did it on accident. Repair the structure by 2%. Increase its maximum by 5,000. Okay. Provide the structure with shielded entryways and windows that infantry can pass through but not projectiles. Cool. Let's do that one. Can I put it here? No. Uh oh, did I did I get it? I guess I did. I was Okay, well let's put incompatible. Why? Oh come on. So and thus it begins. You gotta have a compatible building. Now we have to find some way to matrix. I'm not really complaining too much about it, because this is overall, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. The arrows help with the up and down. Now we just need kind of like the left and right. Which ones will help you turn green when you left and right? Not a big deal for here when you have a huge area, but it gets to be a big deal when you start making a crowded base. Silo reserve. Holds a 25,000 cordium and office supplemental storage for the builder. Storage of what? Is that in addition to 25,000? Hmm. I don't want to pay for it right now to find out. Ants are required to deposit. Okay. Command center. Large fortified command center with a spawn room, aircraft vehicle, and four. Dang. This is an all in one. Rebirthing. Secure spawn location with a built in equipment terminal. And two, what is the difference when powered by an adjacent silo? An adjacent silo will provide spawn point for new allies at the cost of a small amount of cord. Oh, small amount of cordium each spawn. Okay. Additionally, it includes a binding option. Yeah, right. Normal stuff. Spawn anywhere on the continent. You can only bind one point at a time. Okay. Is this like a, is a module? Nope. Dang, I really like the arrows. That's a that's pretty cool. Let's me know just how far down I can go. Let's take a look at these rest of these modules. Repair, got it. Skywall shield. Wait a minute. Can I put multiple? Incom 
Well, where is it compatible then? If it's not compatible on the sky on the cordium silo, then where am I supposed to put this thing? Okay, let's keep looking, I guess. Bunker tree tree stand. <laughs> okay. Let's check out this tree stand, shall we? Let's figure this out. It is a little difficult to see the blue, but it is a really good first step. I'm a big fan. So you can still put down a light vehicle terminal, even though you can do a command center? Hmm. Wait a minute. They added to it. Hold on. So that is the new alarm module, looks like, right? There is no alarm module. No, there's not. So this is the new alarm module. Recon array. Routing spire. My decoration. A light source that infantry can place to brighten their surroundings. You know, it'd be really good if, like I posted in Reddit a year ago, that these lights were dark lights that would be cool the infantry towers had them but they weren't dark lights let's check this out what we got here like those those right there it'd be cool if those were dark lights that would uh that would help okay so there's no module placement on that one so what am i supposed to put What am I supposed to put the skywall shield on? Put a rampart down. F to scan the area. Okay. What are you scanning? Let's go look at the description again. Infantry tunnel? Oh. <laughs> it's kind of a short one, though. Where would you... I don't know where you'd put that. Module dispenser. Allows cordium at normal cost to be used to create various modules for players to slot into sockets attached to the structure. I don't know what that means. Once cordium is drained from the dispenser, it will replenish its cordium from nearby silo. Uh, I'm guessing this is where you would put the skywall shield, maybe? Do you put on the pillbox now? Take a look at the pillbox. Oh. A little bit too high. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't... Let's get a turret, huh? Anti-aircraft turret. Let's go and put you... Right there. And then put a... Oh, no. Did they take away the AI... <laughs> they took the AI away? Uh-oh. That's not good. Ooh, is this where I'm supposed to scan? Let's take a look. What does it let me scan again? Alerts the hours... Owners, when an enemy is detected or can construct, a construct is attacked, will automatically deconstruct if owner is offline in more than two minutes. 
What? Dude. Well, it sucks that the AI is gone. Okay, so we want that to be a little bit better. Can I put a put a shield on it? No. Probably have to put it on you, don't I? Com well, what is compatible? All right, I'm guessing that little. Oh, that means it's empty. Maybe in here. What the? So where do I put this thing? All right, so that that would be one suggestion I'd have is give me. Nope, incompatible. All right. Actually, let's get one that I think repair. Everyone can use repair, right? So I can't put it there. Oh, you can't repair the <laughs> the silo. All right. All right, so I guess because it's not red, you can... Yeah, okay. Can I overwrite it with something? Okay, I'm looking for that gray one. Wait, why are you? That looks like a health bar. All right, I'm at 17,000. Now what happens when you get to zero? Do you disappear? Are these temporary? Guess we're gonna find out. Oh. Oh. You're not even permanent. So are all of them like that? Okay, you've been in here for a while. I'm, I have so many questions. So many questions. Maybe. Oh, it lasts 60 seconds. You are the one. Okay, so you're like heavy repair, mini repair. Got it. Yeah, I'll just kind of wait for a bundle, I suppose. Big old bridge. I heard a lot about this one. Sunder garage. So, so all the normal stuff is here. Even the infantry, infantry tower is still here. This is what I'm talking about. If I, if I could spin around really fast... I could find the green a lot quicker. But it just takes a while for now to come back all around. So now I know I can't go above the red. That's cool. Is there a way to fit it now? It does help. I'll give it to you. That's a really smart way to help out. But what are you colliding with? You're not colliding with anything right now. Come on. All right. See, you were green just a second ago. Let's kind of wiggle you back in. Probably right here somewhere.
So now I have to do this to do it a little faster. <laughs> Okay, there's one. So everything else is still here. The blast wall. Blast gate. Nice. That is good. That's smart. Thank you. And I'm really glad now the blast wall, the little juts on the left and right are gone. Bulwark. Okay. Oh, there's compatibility modules at the top right. That's good. Yes, that is a proper blast wall. See, watch. Here we go. Oh, it won't let me. Maybe right there. Boop. Nice. Whereas the old blast wall, that would. That would. Um, that would not have worked. A light post. I'm. So fascinated by this. An orbital mining drill? Expose cordium node near the marked location. Expose or does it create? If it creates it, then heck yeah, man. That's cool. That will help out big time in the future. Now, now I'm just I'm fascinated. Where do I put a sky? There's a sky wall. Nope, no sky wall. Sky wall. No sky wall, no sky wall. No sky wall. No sky wall. No sky wall. I can't put sky wall on anything I own. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, I could put a sky wall on the orbit off link. Okay. Not on that. That would be hilarious if I could put my sky wall on a faction banner. I love this faction banner. It's my favorite thing. Too bad I can't put it on something else. That would be awesome. I could put it like on top right here. Wouldn't that be so cool? <laughs> Just go ahead and uh, mark my territory. And I need more cordium before. My buddy needs help. And because there's no AI anymore, now instead of getting more cordium. Oh, come on. Let me in. Instead of getting more cordium, now I have to sit here for a few seconds and defend my base. Which, as you can see, it is just me at on live with a relatively populous ish on live. Enemies detected. It said enemies detected. Okay. Now that's interesting. That doesn't look like it's 500 meters from me. Looks like it's closer. I hope they fix the the handling of this thing where it doesn't flip over at the slightest hit of a rock. Guess we'll find out though. Just keep alternating with the howler. Oh, that one's gone. And let's get back to the base. Let flip. I'm gonna like unload first and then I'll see if it's flipping still. This thing is notoriously easy to flip. Like, stupidly easy. Now we wait. All 
All right, let's see if this thing can still flip just as easy. Only two minutes left. I'll just let the clock run out on this one. Right there. There's our bloop. That actually went better than I thought it would. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I'm actually kind of a fan of that tree stand. It's it's lightweight. Looks very lightweight. All right, what else do we have? Ooh, I really want to... Insufficient permissions or war assets? War assets? I need a... War asset for a mining drill? That's interesting. Put the, the construction term. Put the targeting marker from a construction terminal on a silo to place the marker to use required reserve asset permissions. Call down orbital. Call down on orbital mining drill to mark location. Okay. I guess. Let's go ahead and top them all back up. One minute left. I think I can make it. Let's get a strike uplink down. And let's get this sky wall shield up. I do like the revamp. I'm I'm already a fan. The some of this is not altogether intuitive. Most of it is, though. Overall impression, thumbs up, really. We'll see how it materializes. I already looked at Sirius's video, and I just finished Kami's new video. So we'll see uh, who's right on it, at least. Maybe both are. We'll see. All right, let's put you down. Okay, now you you stay on forever, right? You don't have a life. Please don't have a life. Ooh. All right, now, can I get over there? Now, here's the real test. Can I quit more than one? Nine seconds left. Can we do it? Oh, I can have more than one? I'm a big fan. All right. Well, now here we are. That's pretty cool. Big fan. Thumbs up. I think this is a this is a big improvement. Definitely construction 2.0. I'm behind it. And now let's just see how we can I don't know how we can contribute to the game itself. Uh, something I did notice right away is that I am right next to a base. Like right next to A point. All, all my buildings are exploding. There's the other module. Let's see if I die. But I'm right next to a base. Right next to A point. 100, 133 meters. So it's... That happened uh, a couple patches ago where I was able to sit next to a base and that made me way more useful nowadays so first impressions i like it i like what i see and also i built right here next to a base which meant that if you had enough enough cooperation then you could really start putting into practice the sort of stuff that that we were creating large-scale base-building tactics for. So now I'm going to kind of chill, wait for the orbital mining drill to go through, and I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't think there's a bundle. I'll check it out. But the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the notes and kind of do a, a debrief on what I saw. And then I'm going to look at the two videos by Sirius and Kami and then comment on them because I, I heard I had some thoughts, but I yeah, I'll, 
Should be good. All right, that's it. Lands are out.